All right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay. Just wanted to give a, a little briefing about the last video. Um, I posted that, and I'm sure all fellow TIs know why I did. It was a warning of what they're using, or at least just to give you an idea of some things that they're using as an excuse. To, you know, to put the masses back to sleep. Tansy uh, said it right. That That's exactly what they're trying to do. So I'm going to go a little bit farther into uh, several methods that the uh, Central Intelligence Agency Office of uh, basically CIA, as you can see it there, um, many of their methods of um, mind control that they've been using out on people. Now, I have yet to read this, but I'm already can tell I can already tell that I'm going to uh, stumble upon some uh, do some uh, key points in this uh, article here that are going to be very similar to a lot of the targeting that we're all a lot of us are already going to through. Now, the whole thing about the Bible, um, here's the deal. The evidence is there that they are tampering with it. And you got to understand when something's tampered with, that's coming straight from the factories, man. So that's why I want, I just want people to be safe and not, you know, be, temp, not be bamboozled by that. And, but I'm pretty sure people are going to notice that, like there's going to be stuff in there, but I'm not even going to joke around. That is a, that, is, that book has a lot of scriptures. Okay. That book has a lot of scriptures. I mean, a lot. And, um, that's what that, that, that's all the more reason why people need to be careful. Um, Again, it's not really to get the people to question their faith. It's not to get them to turn away from their faith. It's just to get them to have more of an assertion. Like, it's, I mean, you got to look at it from this type of value. You can't look at it from uh, the whole point of awakening is to not look at things from a point to where people are just telling you, you need to go out and, you know, research this for yourself. And by me providing this here, like that's me doing that's me doing that part. But I me, mean, I'm just encouraging people just to go out and do the same thing for themselves, you know. It's not me saying that what you're doing is wrong. It's just that it's I, I, I feel like a person should be able to do, you know, be able to do their own research and have their own individual assertiveness in what they're worshiping and what their beliefs are, you know. And to see a lot of that corruption out there. I mean, you can't make up the corruption that's out there. You can't. Both the if you watch that documentary, even that guy, um, that guy who was that that uh, that's that uh, that used to uh, do the stunt work and all that stuff in Hollywood, he says it himself. And there is a legal document out there that states that the CIA and the, and the uh, government has the right to put subliminal that literally have been literally putting subliminal messaging through the televisions, through the stuff we listen to, through the stuff we watch. That's why I warn certain people about the music they listen to because they are definitely doing that. They put subliminal messages through music. They put subliminal messages through uh, television. That's why I don't even watch TV no more, man. I, I, if I'm going to watch TV, I'm going to watch YouTube. I'll watch YouTube because at least I know they're not, they, they can't broadcast nothing like that because that's coming from um, the person <laughs> themselves unless i switch it over then it's different but if you've seen uh some of the other older videos that i've shown you when it was related back to the cartoons and stuff like that how they had subliminal messages in there and how how disney was doing subliminal messages in kids cartoons man and then when you like really look look into like how much they own and you and you originally thought like you were had the individuality of being away from that. Oh no, oh no. And I believe like that's what's like really unfair in reality, man. Because like when you try to part yourself away from certain things, it's just gonna be it's like nope in your face again. It's no different with these gang stalker stuff. But anyway, let's get into the article. Okay, see notes at the end of inf info on sources of these documents. The first letter and attached are from the classified documents, 1984, 
microfilms under MK Ultra 84002258, published by researcher uh, public publication Robert, uh, Woodbridge, CT06525. Some original markings were not retyped, but this content is the same. The second letter and attached are from the Warren Commission documents. Notice should be paid to the different tone Helms gives to the, his letter. Keeping in mind, he was found guilty of lying to Congress. He places greater emphasis on Soviet practices and tries to diminish breakthroughs gained by Americans. Some thought should be given as to why uh, so, uh, Soviet practices. When uh, the Warren Commission sought to such documents, remembering that Alan Dooley's was a member of that commission, they were exploring the um, Manchurian candidate theory. It was revealed during the Church of Committee hearing of 1975 that Helms had been in charge of Project Amlash. That actually sounds like an Islamic name, or it could be a uh, Arabic name. I'm not even certain. Anyway, let's continue. A program to assassinate Castro, Cuba, Trujillo, uh, Dominican Republic, DM, RVN, Schneider, Chile using mafia figures, John Rosley and Santos Trificante to do the job. Care was oh I want to uh, before I even continue this to all fellow TIs out there be careful because today on my way up because I'm off for the day and the mor- for the, uh, tomorrow and the next day when I tell you they were desperate to get me in some trouble I mean they were desperate real desperate remember the ink ang- if you feel if you any type of anger. Any type of uh, depression of anything like that, understand that's them just using these weapons to try to get you to feel the way that they feel. In the end, it is them that are depressed because their lives are so shitty and they put too much emphasis on materialistic things, which is why it's so shitty. And what what I mean, they put too much influence on this. I mean, like they go beyond to do this. Hence. Why they go as far as to torture people? Why they go as far as to really uh, shatter their own their own uh, image to try to embarrass somebody else? But you see, you need to see the catch twenty two on this. They will literally immediately just they have absolutely no from the stuff I've seen. They have no self respect. They don't, man. They have absolutely none. I've seen these these people do some really stupid stuff, and the fact that they laughing at me, I'm like, I may be a victim under this stupid weapon that they're using, but I'm not finna degrade myself, no. But seeing how they are just, I'm like, wow, man. If you if if you're that desperate for money. If you, I mean, like you, and it's crazy because like, technically we don't need any of this crap. We don't, we we can survive without it, man. We can easily survive without a freaking uh, phone, man. We can, we can build houses. We can do all of that. It was our ancestors did it. And so we, you better damn well bet we can too. Um, but it's, it, but you know, at the end, we do use this stuff for like the benefit to actually get out information a lot easier. And it's a good thing they can't even control the internet because otherwise it would be, uh, it'd be a bigger problem. But, um, yeah, man, just everybody be careful out there because like it seems like they're getting really, really desperate, you know? They're, they're, they're just getting really desperate to try to, to try to stir stuff up. And if they're doing that to me, I'm pretty certain they probably are trying the same crap with Vulcan. They're probably trying the same stuff with Kyle. And they've already since been doing that a lot with uh, Brian. Um, Matrix, uh, I hope both you and your family doing well, minus the targeting that's going on. Same thing for uh, Stu, uh, Stuart, um, or no, otherwise known as Targeted Citizen. I hope all is well with you and your family and minus the targeting. I know um, a lot of us have been dealing with this. Same thing to you, Tansy. Hope things on your end is going well. 
Um, who else? Uh, Ella, if you ever see this, hope things are well with you. Um, every uh, Wayne, hope things are okay with you as well. And uh, who else? Anyway, any anyone else? If I if I missed anyone else, uh, please forgive me. But you are all included. Even if I never mention your name, you are, are all included. I hope all is going well for you. I hope all of you are safe, despite this uh, madness that we're dealing with. And honestly, people who are not aware, look, we, a lot of us have dealt with this for years. Some of us were just recently targeted, but some of us have been targeted for like over targeted for years, but we didn't, re you know, we didn't realize until, uh, well, not really overt, but like covert for years. And then we didn't realize until like it went covert and then the, the you know, the effects of the weapon en enhanced and they weren't even trying to hide it anymore. So a lot of us were targeted since we were kids. And that's the worst thing right there. Because first off, like, I mean, when you're targeted since you're a kid, I mean, you're, you're defenseless against something like this because you wouldn't have the mentality, you know, the maturity or the mentality at the time to really deal with something as advanced as this. You wouldn't know, like, how to really talk to your parents or nothing like, about something like this. And even if you did, they wouldn't, as crazy as it is, is as dangerous as this weapon is, they wouldn't, I'm going to be a hundred percent, um, on this one, man. Not that I haven't been already, but like just to point it out like this, honestly, if any of us have seen the obviousness from back then, man, um, something like this, man, they, 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 they just wouldn't believe it. They wouldn't. And you see, that's the whole point of their whole uh, act. They set it up to where it puts you in a non-believable basis. And then as soon as you start questioning it too much, well, then they're going to place you on, oh, well, like this person's schizophrenic. If you try to freaking uh, go even more with it, well, then they're going to classify you as crazy, mentally ill. How was trying to get, just ask for help classifying you as mentally ill? That's crazy. That. That, that 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 is crazy the fact that someone would say that that's crazy to me because like a person just wants help they just want to try to figure something out but it's like people just don't even try to see outside the box and it's crazy uh how shadowy this whole thing is but people you can't ignore the obvious you've seen what they've been doing and they're not hiding it anymore Honestly, I wish I did have all the answers, but I believe our path was made for us to find our um a way on our own. But in the end, it doesn't mean we can't help each other out on the way, you know. No matter how much they try to say about me, no matter how much they try to uh, project upon me, whether they're casting spells, hexes, curses, or even cursing my name or anything like that, you know what I always I always have a saying: I reject. I reject the anger that they try to, um, you know, project onto me. I reject all that stuff that they do. I reject all of it because in the end, I'm not interested in it and I'm not inviting it in my life. They may be trying to advertise it, but that doesn't mean that I'm the one going out of my way to do it. It doesn't mean that you guys are the one. <clears throat> oh, ooh, excuse me. Wow. It doesn't mean that uh, any of you guys are doing the same thing either, man. And in the end, it's just, as I said, like when you start to really understand what this weapon is capable of that they're trying to uh, make legal now, you start to understand that like people who may have committed crimes in the past, they more most likely innocent because technically this stuff has been doused out through the vape trails of which everybody is exposed to. I honestly think they've been hitting these kids with these weapons already, man, in my honest opinion. I wouldn't even be surprised and the only reason why I'm saying this is because it's just been strange, man. Like a lot of the, um, a lot of issues within society have been arising. And then you see, you, man, you see in high school is too, too damn young to even have kids. And I know this because when I was going to high school, I seen too many fucking, uh, females in the high school who were pregnant. And I'm like, they are too young for this dude. Like what the. It, it, it was just a lot of them, man. It was a lot. I'm like, no freaking way. And then later on, back when I was still watching TV, you would see them shows on there 
of how these some of these females out there will be having like damn near 10 to 20 something kids. And I'm like, this something ain't right, man. Something was not right at all. I believe we're all going to um, eventually get down to like who the real individual culprit of who's pushing for all of this stuff. We have names now. We do. But I don't believe that they're the main ones pushing for this. I honestly believe that they are puppets. The ones who we've seen, who they just, you know, had uh, exposed out saying, well, like, well, this person's pushing for this, that person's pushing for that. No, I believe those people are puppets. And they are being manipulated by a uh, foreign entity that that either he or she does not want to show their face. Without out of the way, let's uh, continue with the article. Okay, the second letter attached from the warrant. No, I've already read that. Care was used to ensure lines appear in the same length and order. Page length will have to be adjusted if you desire to print this. Look for other specials soon. David John Moses. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can just check this out for yourself if you want to. Okay, Central Intelligence Agency, Washington, 25 D.C., Office of the Director, 25 April 1956. So this is going way back, way before the year 2000. Okay, memorandum for the Honorable J. Edgar Hoover, Director, Federal Bureau of Investigation, subject brainwashing. The attached study on brainwashing was prepared by my staff in response to the increasing acute interest in, sorry about that. In fact, let me turn you to the side. It'd make it a lot better to read. If I can't, no, it's not doing it. Okay, whatever. The subject threw out the intelligence and security components of the government. I feel, oh wait, that's appeared. I feel you will find it well worth your personal attention. It represents, ooh, snap. <clears throat> Mm, Got to clear my throat. Okay. It represents the thinking of leading away. Oh, <laughs> they, they did not make this a lot easier to do. I swear. Um, Thinking of leading spy. Uh, colleges uh, or psychologists. I guess that's a, I don't know if that's type, whatever. Psych psychiatrist. Um, wait, wait a minute. Oh, psychologist or psychologist. Psychiatrist and intelligence specialist based on based in turn on interviews with many individuals who have had personal experience with communism brainwashing. Here's the deal, though. If you notice the behaviorism of today and uh, here and a lot of TIs will tell you the same when it comes to these gang stalkers, they um, basically their viewpoint is very communist uh, based and it's like if they have a thought well th no that's it it's no debatable aspect that's just what it is they don't even want to even accept the truth what it is they they are afraid of the truth they hate the truth they want to live in a fantasy land okay that's their mindset Ugh. Hang on, just give me a second. Whew. Okay. All right. I'm just about ready to continue. All right. We'll find it. Okay. Increasing the acute interest in subject about the intelligence and security components of the government. I feel you will find it well worth your personal attention. It represents the thinking of leading. Oh, wait, no, I've already read all of that. Based in turning turn on interviews with many individuals who have had personal experience with communist brainwashing. Yeah, that's where we left off at. OK, OK, got my place back and on intensive research and testing. While individuals specialists hold divergent views on various aspects of this most complex subject, I believe the study reflects a synthesis of major export opinion uh, i will of course appreciate any comments on it that you or your staff may have signed alan w Doolis, director and close oa 5337 a report on communist brainwashing now everybody 
remember the date. This is 1956. This thing was, uh, you know, printed or posted, right? Not on the net, but just made. So we're in 2020. And going all the way back, as you can see, there were already stuff going on with brainwashing. And then you have communism related to this. What are we seeing today? I ask you, what is it? The type of behavior of what we are seeing today of what is happening? Two things. Communism. And attempted brainwashing. But at first they had it covert to just the random individuals around the world. Now they want to bring it out to where they bring it to everybody who they just don't like. And that's how screwed up this whole communist thing is. It's like, oh, well, like I just don't like you, so I just start taking everything from you. It's a very, very childish like uh, mentality that they have. It's very childish. And I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say the truth for what it is. It's a very childish like demeanor, man. It's like they get off from just torturing people. They get off from trying to prevent people from doing uh, the right thing. Um, and they get off from just trying to prevent good deeds in general. They just want torture. They want people to suffer. They want people to be in pain. They want people to be depressed. And that's it. They are so desperate for this. Okay. They are so desperate to be able to do this on a massive scale that they're willing to put on a show for you to pretend like they, uh, are nice and have good intentions. Uh, Zikhail said it best, man. The Antichrist is someone who pre who preaches and has faith in public, but in circuit does not. Man, in this case, we are suffering under these attacks day in and day out in our sleep, out of our sleep. When we wake up, when we're not when we're not awake, when we go to work, when we go out, when we go to the store. Every bit of our actions and every bit of movement that we make, we are under the effects of these directed energy weapons. Um, honestly, if I had to take, uh, if I had to take, uh, give you a, a scientific uh, explanation on how this feels when you first get hit, it's kind of like having invisible shackles. Okay, your body gets slowed down whenever you try to run. Um, the, the itching, the biting from this stuff, several things. The uh, induced constant being hit by radiation. Even while I'm making this art, even while I'm making this video for you all right now, I'm still being hit. Even as I speak, it's 8.05 p.m. on a Monday, April 20th, and I'm still being radiated. These people, man, they have no good intentions. And honestly, thanks to my awakening, I've been able to see that they mean no, uh, that they, they, they are no good and they, uh, they mean no good treacherously. That's as best as you can, it can be said, man. They mean absolutely no good for you. They mean no good for your family. They mean no good for themselves or the community or anyone, man. They don't mean good for nobody. Um, Anyway, uh, wow. I don't really want to get too far into that. I want to try to stay on point. Anyway, let's can let's go ahead and continue. Anyway, a report on communist brainwashing. The report that follows is a condent condensation of a study by training experts, often important classified and unclassified information available on this subject. Background brainwashing as a technique has been used for centuries and is no mystery top psychologists in this sense brainwashing means involuntary re-education off basic beliefs and values all people are being re-educated continually new information changes one's beliefs everyone has experienced to some degree the conflict that ensues when new information is not consistent with prior belief. The experience of the brainwashing, brainwashed individual differs in that 
uh, inconsistent information is forced upon the individual under controlled conditions after the possibility of critical judgment has been removed by a variety of methods. There is no question that an individual can be broken psychologically by scepters with knowledge and willingness to persist in techniques aimed art, art, uh, art deliberately destroying the integrated integration of a personality wow it's been a while since i've been reading <laughs> but it's I, I gotta get used to it i'm used i usually read a lot um a, a while back but i had a took a break from that although it is it is probably wow they got a lot of these words mixed together it's probable that everyone reduced to such a confused Disoriented state will respond to the introduction of new beliefs. This cannot be staged uh, dramatically. Stated dog stated dogmatically is that what that says? Huh. First time I've ever heard of that or even seen that word. Okay. Anyway, principles of human control and reaction to control. There are progressive steps in exercising control over an individual and change. Uh, you see, I can't take this article seriously because you, you see this. A lot of. Uh, a lot of typing errors here. So I guess that's what they meant. Like when they said, like, some of this is true and untrue. Anyway, it's, uh, it's it, it is what it is. But this should give us some idea. I'm probably going to have to do another one uh, that's more on the ball than this one. But there should be some key points within this somewhere that actually latch on to what we're going through even today. Anyway, let's continue. Over and, and change his behavior and personality integrated integration. The following five steps are typical. There's another spelling uh, type. Uh, Spelling error. They got that. Uh, they're missing a space there. It's like I'm. I'm seeing that too much. Anyway, let's continue. Typical of behavior changes in any controlled individual. Wow. Okay, there's my place. Making the individual aware of control is the first stage in changing his or her behavior. A small child is made aware of the physical and psychological control of his parents and quickly recognize that an overwhelming force must be reckoned with. So a controlled adult comes to recognize the overwhelming powers of the state and the personal incarcer incarcer incarcerative machinery in which he is emished Okay, like this is just wow. Anyway, let, let, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Emit and mished. I don't know. The individual recognizes that the fine limits have been. Pro hold on, hold on. Okay, you know what? That whole thing just just practically screams, like someone was just effing with it. So, you can read that if you want. But there's too much BS in there, and there's too much uh, spelling errors. Okay, let's read the stuff that was deleted, because I read enough of that. That's that's enough to hurt your brain right there. Okay, section deleted by CIA. Now, that sounds interesting. Pitiful. His new value system is his manner of perceiving, organizing, and giving meaning to events is virtually independent of his former value system. He is no longer capable of thinking or speaking in concepts other than those he has adopted, he tends to identify by expressing thanks to his captors for a captors. What the fuck? OK, that's a clear section that actually will let you know that the CIA is kidnapping people, especially kids. Huh. For helping him see the light brainwashing can be achieved without using illegal means anyone willing to use known principles of control and reactions to control and capable of demonstrating the patient needed in raising a child can probably achieve successful brainwashing communist control techniques and their effects now that's what i really needed to see a description of usual communist control techniques follows 
Number one, interrogation. There are at least two ways in which interrogation is issued. A. Elicitation, which is de designed to get the individual to surrender protected information as a form of interrogation. One major difference between elicitation and interrogation used to achieve brainwashing is that the mind of the individual must be kept clear to permit coherent, undistorted disclosure of protected information. You want to know about that, man? That's what they they do. They use these weapons to force a confession. It's a forced confession. If you don't confess to something that they are suspecting you of, guess what? More torture, more torture, more torture. They just torture you and torture. They have been exposed. The cops have been exposed doing this without this technology. It's just torture, 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 until the person just gives in and, sur and just surrenders and then just say, fine, yes, 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 yes to this, yes to that. They say yes to everything. And it's a very unfair situation because, like, the person is being forced. Okay, interrog Okay, elicit. Which is the okay? B. Elicitation for the purpose of brainwashing consists of questioning, argument, entered in uh, indoctrination, threats, cajolery, praise, hostility, and a variety of other pressures. To the aim of this interrogation is to hasten the breakdown of the individual's value system to encourage the substitution of a different value system. Remember what I said about how they like to get that part of you, how they like to construct the part of you that fits in? Yeah. The whole, the whole uh, fucking uh, peer pressure shit. It's my it's it's an attempt at mind control. If you haven't realized it, no joke. That's what that is. Wish I was making it up, but I'm not. And they and since we know there are gang stalker parents, wouldn't it not be too far fetched that they would implement this kind of behavior in the schools? Because I don't think I don't think that that's not too far fetched at all. Anyway, let's continue. Elicitation for the purpose of brainwashing consists of, and actually that has me worried about kids in the schools, by the way, because like you wouldn't even know, man, you send your kids to a public school and you wouldn't even ex like you wouldn't even expect half the crap going on would be like this fucking this freaking corrupt. It's like you wouldn't even know. Man. Any parent out there is doing the homeschool thing. I, 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 hey, I send cheers your way because like that. I mean, you get you benefit from that too because like number one, you you're, you're able to spend time with your kids, and number two, you don't expose them to that negative nature that's out there. You know, like you know you raised your kids right, but you can't say the same thing for other people in their in the way they raise their kids. A lot of you have seen this. If you are a TI, you have seen this, whether you got a family of your own or not. You have seen how these perps react and how they behave. But anyway, um, let's continue because I'm starting to ramble again. Okay, elicitation, the purpose of brainwashing consists of questioning, argument, and indoctrination, threats, cajolery, praise, hostility, and a variety of other pressures. The aim of this interrogation is to hasten the breakdown of the individual's value system to encourage the substitution of a wait a minute substitution of a different value system so basically what my gang stalkers want is for me to be a homosexual uh i reject that type of thing okay i don't care for if someone else is that way if long, I mean, as long as they're happy with their life choice, I mean, go ahead, do what you want. But I mean, like for me, no, thank you. No, I love women. I'm going to always love women. And that's just uh, that's just it. I don't give a damn whether, whether they get mad. I don't care whether they don't like what I'm saying. Um, That's just it. I reject that whole aspect of which they are projecting onto me. No, it's not me. It's not going to be me. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. And. That's just the bottom line. You can accept that, but or not. But at the same time, hey, I made my statement. I said it before. I say it again. 
and it stays as it is. I reject the type of value system they are trying to project onto me. I say it again. I reject the value system of the um the ident the value system identity of which they are trying to project onto me. I reject it. Let's continue. Okay, different value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I already read that. The uh, procurement of protected information is secondary and is used as a device to increase. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Increase what? Increase what? Increase what? Increase what? Pressure upon the individual. The term interrogation in this paper will refer in general to this type. The interrogator is the individual who conducts this type of interrogation and who controls the administration of the other pressures. He is the protagonist against whom the victim develops his conflict and upon whom the victim develops a state of dependency as he seeks some solution to his conflict. So basically, this is this just sums up everything off that all of us target individuals have gone through. If we seek help or some solutions from someone due to the conflict of which is being you know thrown upon thrust upon us uh illegally and unwillingly we're and uninvitingly might i add they go after the uh the people we sought help with sometimes those people who saw help with they join in the fun and they start uh messing with us back as well due to either being paid off or threatened and that's the that's the problem with that because like you don't you don't want to hate people you cared about and you don't want to reject them, but you don't really know the full scenario. Whether you don't know whether they were threatened. You don't know whether they were paid off. You don't know. And that's the pro that's the main problem, man. Can't even date because of that. When I say these gang stalkers are salty, I mean they are salty. When I said before how like whenever a female had an interest in me, like she would be gone the next day. I wouldn't even see her anymore. I can only hope that they only can hope uh, for the best because I know how dangerous these individuals are. But anyway, let's continue because I'm starting to ramble again. Wow. Okay. Psychological torture and threats of torture. Two types of physical torture um, are, are distinguishable more by their psychological effect in inducing conflict than by the degree of painfulness. The first type is one in which the victim has a passive role in the pain inflicting on him. Uh, beatings. His conflict involves the, des the decision of whether or not to give into demands in order to avoid further pain. Generally, brutality of this type was not found to achieve the desired results. Threats of torture were found more effective as fear of pain causes greater conflict within the individual than does pain itself. That's why um, I don't even believe half their shit. And I mean, like, hey, if either if they fucking put if any one of them really does put their hands on me and I have irrefutable evidence, guess what's going to happen after that? Their covers not only are their cover is blown, not only that I just get assaulted, but now I have a, a now I have legitimate excuse to have a criminalized investigation put out on these perpetrators. Which will exp which will point out as to the question of well why was this person doing X Y and Z, and why were said individuals along with them were they involved did they induce it did they have anything to do with it and then as soon as they find evidence that well these people were stalking me, what do you think that's gonna get them? Right into the jail cell. Okay, the first. Type is which the victim has passed. Yeah, we already read. Now a lot of TIs have gone through this. You all are gonna recognize all of this. I wanted the re, but understand like the, I need to go back a bit. The re, the uh, the whole point of showing that video, I'm pretty certain you all realized it. But that's the methods they use to put you back to sleep. I just want people to be able to see the difference and then see the reality. Of what they're not telling you. Of what they're not showing you. So you understand the horror. Of behind these people. Who they put on these stations. And in, the, in these TVs. To try to tell you everything is fine. No. 
Those people are either brainwashed so severely or they're being paid off. And here's the twist of this situation. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Why the hell would they ever have to pay a person of who is mind controlled? They don't have to pay you to do something if they can just control you to do it. Now, can't now is now wouldn't that be more convenient? I think so. The first type in which the victim has okay, we already read already read that. The second type of torture is represented by requiring the individual to stand in one spot for several hours or assume some other pain inducing position, such as such a requirement often in 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 engage in gainers in the individual to a determination to stick it out this internal act of resistance provide a feeling of moral superiority at first as time passes and his pain mounts however the individual becomes aware that it is his own original determination to resist that is causing the continuation of pain a conflict develops within the individual between his moral determination and his desire to collapse and discontinue the pain. It is this extra internal conflict in addition to the conflict over whether or not to give in to the demands made of him or her in this case that tends to make this method of torture more effective in the breakdown of the individual personality. The best way to uh you know to win at the game is to not play it. Whenever they do their stunts, talk their shit, ignore it, move on. If they start messing around with certain things, move on. If they won't let you do a certain thing, move on. Because it's when you put your all, your all into that one thing, I mean, you're giving them control. Sometimes the best approach is just to walk away. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Leave the snacks for later. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Number... Th okay, second time. Okay, number three... Isolation. Individual differences in reaction to isolation are probably greater than to any other method. Some individuals appear to be able to, uh, to withstand prolonged periods of isolation without delirious effects, while our lately short period of isolation reduces others to the verge of psychosis reactions. It varies with the conditions of the isolation. Cell so some uh short period oh yeah so some sources have uh indicated a strong reaction to fit to filth and vermin, although they had neg ne uh, negligible reactions to the isolation. Others wait uh, others react violently to isolation in relatively clean cells. The predominant cause of breakdown in such situations, a lack of sensory stimulation, i.e. grayness of walls, lack of sound, absence of social contact, etc. Experimental subjects exposed to these conditions have reported vivid hallucinations and overwhelming fears of losing their sanity. Contr number four, control of communication. This is one of the most effective methods of for. For, uh, for creating a sense of helplessness and despair. Okay, half if not all this stuff I've just read is describing everything of what's happening with a targeted individual. Everyone that's out there, this is describing it, man. This is describing a lot of it. It's one of the effective methods, forcing a sense of helplessness and despair. This measure might be well um, be considered the cornerstone of the communist system of control. It consists of strict regulation of the mail, reading materials, broadcast materials, and social contact available to the individual. The need to communicate is a so great that when the usual channels are blocked, the individual will resort to any open channel and almost... Communicate, communicate uh, is so great that when the usual channel is okay, regardless of the implications of using that particular channel, many POWs in Korea whose only act of collaboration was to sign petitions and peace appeals defending their actions on the ground that this was the only method of letting the outside world know they were still alive. Many stated their moral 
and fortitude would have been increased immeasurably had Lee had leaflets of encouragement been dropped to the, to them. When the only contact with the outside world is via the inter- interrogator, the prisoner comes to develop extreme dependency on his interrogator and hence closes another prop to his morality. Another wrinkle, wrinkle in common communication control is the informer system. The rec- uh, recruitment of information in POW camps discouraged the communication between inmates POWs who feared that every act or thought of resistance would be communicated to the camp administrators lost faith in their fellow man and were forced to untrusting individualism. Informers are also under severe stages of brainwashing in elicitation to develop and maintain control over the victims. Understand, the controllers are not the controllers. They're the puppeteers who basically move and confuse the masses and dumb them down. With the many things that they, with the many unusual laws that they pass, with the many things that they do, and the many things that they propose. Hence to what they're doing now. Notice how a lot of these truth bombs are coming out. But uh, if you haven't seen Jeff uh, Censored's channel yet, he actually talks about how they're trying to push a bill for anyone, and I mean anyone, who is discussing anything regarding the uh, the whole C-19 business. Yeah, anything that is not related on to what... You know, that is basically, oh, that's supposed to be like dangerous information for people to know. It induces fear. Dude, seriously, what they're doing is dangerous. What they are doing and trying to pass and is trying to basically put out amongst everybody is dangerous. They don't care about your safety. If they did, we wouldn't even have we would not have been nowhere near 5G. We would not have had a four. We would have probably never even had a three. They uh, scientists warned about the third. They warned about the fourth, and they immediately warned about the fifth. Didn't they still put it out there? You bet they did. Now then, uh. Another wrinkle in the information control is the former system is the informer system. The recruitment occurred. Yeah, I've already read that. Number five, induction induction of fatigue. This is well known device for breaking willpower and critical powers of judgment. Deprivation of sleep results in more. <clears throat> oh man. Induction of fatigue. This is well known device for breaking willpower and critical powers. This is one thing. That a lot of us target individuals go through sleep deprivation. And when I say we go through this a lot, I mean we go through this a lot. Sometimes I find myself going to sleep at 10 and I wake up right at 1 a.m. in the morning. We're all up on the live stream, either on Kyle's channel or someone else's channel. It's no coincidence that all of us are up at the same time, man. Heck, I go to work. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm even, I'm, I'm even lucky enough to even be still be working even at this time. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat that. I, I, I'm definitely blessed to still be doing that. But that doesn't mean that I'm not even gonna just keep all that mess to myself and not try to help other people out there out. No, I try to help those out. Luckily, I was able to get some things through. But unfortunately, you know how these perps work. They will prevent you from helping other TIs. They will prevent TIs from trying to gather. And they or try to infiltrate your ranks. We've seen this. We've seen pro- even a protester I've seen before pointed out a perp. The lady was not camouflaged, okay? And if she was, she didn't do a good job at it. Basically, she had pink hair. And she was she was too easy to point out. She was too way too easy to point out. I was like, are you serious? Like, how are they not going to? And they had the evidence to back it up that, yeah, she was a perp. But despite that, they even tried handing her a pamphlet, like saying, like, yeah, uh, we, uh, you know, just giving up uh, awareness of um, what's going on here about the legalized stalking and whatnot. They know, they know she's involved. 
She knows she knows what their what that business is about. Does she care? No. People are obsessed with money. And it's that obsession with money that's going to be their undoing. And by the time they come to the realization of that, it's going to be too late. They're too addicted to their addictions and they're too addicted to torturing and they're too addicted to another person's life. And the reason why they're so addicted to another person's life, well, there's just not that it's not worth really talking about. There's not much going on in it at all. Yeah, and what's so funny about this is that they act like there is so much going on in it, but there's not. There's not. There's nothing. Half the stuff they do and act, all that excitement, all that stuff that they're doing is fake. It's all staged. In reality, they are dead inside because they cast away their true selves at a younger age. Is that their fault? No, I will never blame a person for that because in the end, peer pressure got the better of them. I blame the people who um, who started that whole peer pressure crap. The controllers, the manipulators, th that's who I blame for this. Do I blame people who are victimization of this? No. But I know for a fact that people become way too far gone into this into where they're too... You know, they're, they're too in tune with this per, per, uh, perpetrous uh, behavior to where, you know, they are just they they, they actually live that um, that switched out mentality as, as as the norm. You know, they when when their whole reality and their whole mentality gets completely swapped and the original mentality was discarded and thrown in a gutter. The one that the one that, you know, the manipulators injected is the, it becomes the predominant one. So I know these, some of these perps are not in control of themselves, man. That's another form of mind control. That is another form of it. And with this whole 5G business, with this, all this other stuff they're pushing, that's what they're trying to get. They're doing this to try to get control over many different people, man. And the bad part about this, the even worse part, is that we've already heard about how these... Luciferians and these Masons been doing these satanic rituals and stuff like that, man. The worst case scenario, de dealing with it in this case is now is one thing, but dealing in a case where everybody's brainwashed, that we cannot allow. Okay? We cannot allow that, man, because that that's the worst case scenario. Because at least, I mean, in a scenario like that, you can't even hope to freaking end it because too many people will be brainwashed. It's either people to, it's because it, honestly, at this point, man, like, I'm seeing so many people protest to try to get these stupid things removed. They have not removed not a single 5G tower yet. The ones that vigilantes or were just, you know, either vigilantes or just, you know, miraculously destroyed on its own. Well, honestly, if you honestly, uh, if you ask me, uh, I think some of these towers just overloaded on their own. Due to, uh, you know, their effects. You know something? That's already enough of a hazard to get them removed. But I find it funny how they still didn't remove them. They just replaced them. So it's okay to have a hazard that can just do something like that near public areas, right? <sighs> Man. Crazy. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, uh, induction of fatigue. This is well known. Uh, this is a well known device for breaking willpower at critical point powers of judgment. Deprivation of sleep results in more inter psychological debilitation than does any other method or in 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 engineering. And do they mean engineering or engineering? I, I, I don't know. Whatever. Fatigue. The uh, the, com the communists vary these methods, convoy, uh, con convoyer belt interrogation that lasts 50 to 60 hours will make almost any individual compromise, but there is a danger that, it, it, that this will kill the victim. It is safer to conduct interrogations of 8 to 10 hours at night while forcing the prisoner to remain awake during the day. Additional interpretations in the remaining 2 to 3 hours of a lot of sleep quickly reduces the most resilient individual alternate administrations of uh, drug stimulants, stimulates 
uh, stimulants and depressants hastens the process of fatigue and sharpens the psychological reactions of excitement and depriv- and, uh, depression. So be careful when you take in any type of uh, medication. Um, honestly, I think mo- the most dangerous place is if you're in a uh, nursing home because you don't know what they're trying to give you in there, you know, especially the hospitals. <sighs> Fatigue, in addition to reducing the will to resist, also produces irritation, um, irritation and fear that arise from increased slips of the tongue, forgetfulness, and increased ability to maintain orderly thought processes. Number six, control of food, water, and tobacco. The controlled individual is made intensely aware of his uh, dependence upon his interrogator for the quality and quantity of his food and tobacco. The excise of this control usually follows a pattern. Uh, no food and little or no water is permitted. The individual for several days prior to interrogation when the prisoner first complains of this to the interrogator. You notice how this is really going, is, uh, like really becoming like uh, too obvious here? Did they uh, not tell the farmers to like, you know, Throw all that food in the gr- and, and, uh, away. Pour all that milk out. Then they not tell them to do that. Huh. The individual for several days prior to interrogation when the prisoner, the man, uh, first complains of this to the interrogator, the latter expresses surprise at such inhuman treatment. He makes a demand and of the prisoner if, wait no, Uh, He makes the demand of food containing limited vitamins, minerals, and calories. This diet is supplemented occasionally by the interrogator if the change to irritation increases as their ability to think clearly decreases. The control of tobacco presented a greater source of conflict for heavy smokers because the tobacco is not necessarily to life being manipulated by his craving for it can end the individual a strong sense of guilt. So uh, basically when they get a hold, this is, this is, this falls back onto what I was talking about when I say like, don't chase the item, don't chase the materialism, don't chase it. Don't because that's it. That that's, that's their attempt to try to get you. If you chase after that, their chase, they're trying to snatch that dependency that you have for that particular item, no matter what it is. And they're trying to use that dependency that you have on it against you. There'll be times where they'll try to hand it back, but it's only to take it away. Because, and you want to know why that is? Because they want that control. Everything that they do, everything that they say, it's all for control. They don't give a damn about no materialistic shit you got. They want your soul, man. They want control over you. That's what it is. Anyway, let's continue. Fatigue and additional to reducing the will to resist also produces fear that arises from increased slips of the... Okay. Number six, control of food. Water. No, I've already read number six. Whew. Okay, criticism and self-criticism. There are mechanisms of communist thought control. Self-criticism gains its effectiveness from the fact that although it is not a crime for a man to be wrong, it is a major crime to be stubborn and to refuse to learn. Many individuals feel intensely relieved in being able to share their sense of guilt. Those individuals However, who have adjusted to handling their guilt internally have difficulty adapting to criticism and self-criticism and brainwashing after a sufficient sense of guilt has been created in the individual. Sharing and self-criticism permit relief. The price paid for this relief, however, is loss of individuality and increased dependency. Number eight, hypnosis and drug as controls. There is no reliable evidence that the communists are making a widespread use of drugs or hypnosis and brainwashing or regulation. Uh, the uh, exception to this is the use of common stimulants or their uh, presence in inducing fatigue and mood swings. 
Number nine, other methods of control, which when used in conjunction with the uh, basic processes, hasten the, deter the uh, deterioration of prisoners' sense of value. The way they're saying prisoners, it sounds like they just been, they've been experimenting on freaking uh, inmates, in which I would not be surprised, you know? I would not be surprised. And resistance are, okay, number uh, A, requiring a case of history or ooh, autobiography of the prisoners provides a mine of information to for the interrogation. <clears throat> I think that's them trying to force a yawn or something. I don't know. Sheesh. Friendliness of the interrogator when least expected upsets the prisoner's ability to maintain a critical attitude. See, petty demands such as severely limiting the allotted time for use of toilet facilities or requiring the POW to kill hundreds of flea flies or harassment methods. Hundreds of flies, huh? That sounds uh, familiar. Prisoners are often humiliated by refusing them the use of toilet facilities during interrogation until they soil themselves. Often prisoners were not permitted to bathe for weeks until they felt uh, contemplate, contemplable, uh, contemple, table or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that. Conviction. Okay, number uh, uh, e. Convi uh, conviction is a war criminal appears to be a potent factor in creating despair in the individual. One official analysis of the pressure exerted by the Chia comes on confessors and non-confessors to participation in bacteriological warfare in Korea showed that actual trial and conviction of war crimes was overwhelmingly associated with breakdown and confession. Kaylee F. Attempting elicitation of protected information at various times during the brainwashing process diverted the individual from... Awareness of the deterioration of his value system. The fact that in most cases, the Tricoms did not want or need such intelligence was not known to the prisoner. His attempts to protect such information was made at the expense of hastening his own breakdown. The exercise of control, a schedule for brainwashing. From the many fragmentary accounts reviewed, the following appears to be the most likely descri uh, description of what occurs during brainwashing. In a period immediately following capture, the captors are faced with the problem of deciding on best ways of exploitation of the prisoners. Therefore, early treatment is similar both of those who are to be exploited. Throughout uh, el elicitation and those who are to undergo brainwashing currently with Oh, my, uh, uh. Currently, with uh, being interrogated and required to write a detailed personal history, the prisoner undergoes a psychological, uh, a psych, um, physical, oh yeah, physical and physiological uh, softening up, which includes limited, uh, depilatable food rations, withholding of tobacco. Possible uh, work details, severely inadequate use of toilet facilities. Now, okay, we've already went all of this. So basically, they're using uh, your necessities and they're using uh, the non-essentials against you. And they're using your dependencies against you. That's the uh, basics of this. Now, we already know what all of this is about. So let's just read what the uh, things are, you know, all of this summed up in the one. Number one, a feeling of helplessness is attempted to deal with the impersonal machinery of control. Number two, an intro, initial reaction of surprise. Number three, a feeling of uncertainty about what is required of him. Number four, a developing feeling of the, uh, dependence upon the interrogator. Number five, a sense of doubt and loss of objective and objective, uh, objectivity. Number six, feelings of guilt. Number seven, a questioning attitude towards his own value system. Number eight, if it, in number uh, number as for number seven, don't you ever question your damn value system. You hear me? Don't you ever allow these bastards to take your true self away from you. Don't. Okay, that out of the way. 
Uh, number seven, a questioning attitude towards his. Oh, no, already. It's number seven. Number eight, a feeling of potential breakdown, i.e., that he might go crazy. Number nine, a need to defend his acquired principles. Number ten, a final sense of belonging, identification. A feeling of helplessness in the face of the impersonal machinery of controls carefully in. in, in ga- <sighs> wow, this article. In, uh, engineered uh, within the prisoner, the individual who received uh, the prim- the preliminary <laughs> treatment described above not only belongs to li- feel like an animal, but also feels that nothing can be done about it. No one pays any person uh, personal attention to him. His complaints fall on deaf ears. His loss of communication, if he has been isolated, creates a feeling that he has been forgotten. Everything that happens to him occurs according to an impersonal time schedule that has nothing to do with his needs. The voices and footsteps often guards are muted. He notes many contrasts, e.g. his greasy and uh, unpalatable food may be served on battered tin dishes by guards immaculately dressed in white. The first steps in the personalization of the prisoner have begun he has no no idea what to expect ample opportunity i don't have a lot of time on this battery ample opportunity um is a lot for him to ruminate upon all the unpleasant or painful things that could happen to him he approaches main interrogation with the mixed feelings of relief and fright okay i could go into uh farther than this everybody but this is awfully long, okay? You see all of that? Yeah, I'm not reading all of that. <laughs> but I will I will tell you this, what I will do. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to leave it in, uh, in the description for you to check out the rest. Without, without, uh, without out of the way, um, I just wanted to at least get some parts of this. Uh, for people to be able to understand that this is something that they are setting up that they have not only used on us, but they're setting this up to use. If you um, are a truth speaker, if you are a uh, whistleblower, this is something they're setting up to immediately come after you. Us target individuals have found shielding methods. We found methods to get this stuff out of our systems that they use. We found stuff to block all of this. And we're seeking, to, all of us are seeking to help inform the masses about what this tyranny is trying to do. I'm doing my part as a fellow target individual to help spread the awareness out so people can protect themselves from this, you know? We're going to have to put a stop to this. I'll understand the whole freedom thing. They're trying to get rid of that. The whole freedom of speech thing, they're trying to get rid of it. The whole freedom of just being able to do whatever you want, just laying up uh, somewhere to just relax, not worried about no BS, just to get away from it all. They're trying to get rid of that. They're trying to get rid of your comfort zone. They're trying to get rid of your freedoms. They're trying to take away your right to be who you are. That's their ultimate goal. If we don't stop them, we may never get another chance to try you know, no, another chance to stop them. With that out of the way, this is MM. I'm over and out.